Did Monster Hunter World messed up your game and failed to load your save file? Just hope your Steam back up your save game and you can still retrieve it. Otherwise, your hours of playing would go to waste. I made this video because I spent 8 hours figuring out what happened, why the game suddenly can't detect my saved game file and how to fix it. Someone from Steam community was generous enough to share a program that basically updates your save file to a file detected by the game. This was posted as of January 15, 2020 and her problem was pertaining to the Monster Hunter World Iceborne and the save file must have been messed up after the Iceborne update. But in my case, I only have the Monster Hunter World game which still messed up my save file. Some in the community said this sometimes happens when near the end of the story. Are they pertaining to Sinojiva? Because I still finished the game with credits rolling after Sinojiva. But the story did not end right after that. So without further ado, let's get right into the process. What we need is the Monster Hunter World Save Transfer Program. Your backup save file in a functioning save file. In a guide posted by Sputiputs, he posted links but the third link was made private. And as of September 17, 2020, the functioning file was made private. After some analyzing, I realized the game kept on creating a save file. When you start a game and it is also detected by the game, so I figured out why not use the file. The good thing about this file is that I don't have to figure out what is my Steam ID which is needed to replace the Steam ID of other players if you happen to download your own save file. So guys, let's begin. Um, here is our data. Uh, the program, uh, the Monster Hunter World Save Transfer. With this is a, the save data. It is dated 9-17, um, 3.54 p.m. This is the uh, data from the a functioning save data from the game itself. And this is uh, the save data where my um, character was um, saved. Uh, it is dated 9-15. Uh, 9.59 p.m. so the game was able to uh, back up my save file before um, getting corrupted and it prompted to uh, prompted to save a new file and this is that file so what we will do is uh, run the program and then as you can see there is this steam id but since this um save file is uh came uh this save file came from uh your game itself then it will automatically um, um input your um, steam id so click file um open save data and then and search for the new folder uh, where the save file is located this is the latest dated 9 17 2020 so as you can see uh, my girlfriend made me a new character uh, which uh, has a play time of 1 hour and 44 minutes um, this character then We will import import our um, the backed up uh, save file. This one, this one. This is dated uh, 9:15, 9:59pm. So as you can see, uh, the, here is my um, character. Um, the name is Kishin with. Um, Hunter rank of 29 and a playtime of 87 hours and 4 minutes. So this is uh, what we need to transfer to the functional save file here. So as you can see, the Steam ID is here. 
uh, it was automatically uh, input after um, opening this um, save file so what we will do is since this is the functioning one we will just uh, drag our uh, character here our save file here so and after that we can just proceed to uh, save uh, save data mm, I'll just make uh, I'll just make it here save data so that's basically it guys but first uh, another step is we will uh, we'll place it on the what you call this we'll place it on the um, game folder uh, my game uh, my steam game is located on a separate um, drive uh, not on the main drive which is usually located on the drive C uh, I installed my steam games um, here game, uh, games then steam and then um, the user data this is my um, what do you call this uh, steam I I think this is another steam ID and then 582010 this is the the number of the uh, monster hunter world it's if I just um, researched on Google if what uh, folder what name folder of the monster hunter world and I do not know why I do not know why they change it to the uh, number itself but if you uh, research on Google this is the number that is usually posted okay. so here click on remote and this is the save data so this is my um, file because I played uh, last night uh, 9 19 p.m. this is actually a functioning data where um, I was able to uh, load my save file using uh, my character again so again you just uh, get your new save data then you um, go to the games folder and then steam then user data then your I think this is the another uh, steam ID number and then the game the monster hunter world folder and then the remote so so you place your your you paste your save data here and then in order to uh, back your your uh, back up your save data you can also go to steam and then steam apps and then common and monster hunter world uh, here here is a folder for uh, the game save data backup you can save your um, file here as you can see uh, I have different uh, this is the, s the save file that I was able to uh, retrieve after I noticed that the game uh, the game uh, did not detect my save data so after I prompted uh, I was prompted to make a new save data then a new save data backup was created dated 9 17 9 18 p.m. so this two these two save files was not uh, detected but then after creating a new one a new save data um, the game was able to load a save file but there's no my character is not located here so so if we will um, recap what we did we'll just rename this into save data we'll load it to this application and then 
load our uh, functioning data like what we did earlier then we we then create the new save data which will um, be used for um, which will be used for uh, the game <coughs> so I actually uh, did not record it the first time and I was not expecting it to work but in theory I was able to make it work um, this this um, guide was supposed to be uh, for Monster Hunter Iceborne uh, expansion but uh, when I thought about it um, it uh, was up still applicable for the uh, Monster Hunter World uh, base game so what's important here is that you need to have the uh, backup save data so that you can um, you can load it into a a functioning save data data file to be loaded in the game so um, we'll try to load the game and see if I uh, will try to load the game so that you'll see the proof that I was able to load my character So here it is, loading data. So the game was able to detect the game, the save file, and loaded it. If the save file was corrupted, it will prompt you to create a new save file um, before those are uh, before that before it. So here it is guys, um, what's the date today? I was not able to uh, show you the date. You can just uh, rewind the video and see the date um, on the monitor. So as you can see, I here it is, we can uh, load the game or we can load the, our character. So if you have any questions guys uh, feel free to comment or message me and we will try to figure it out figure it out if um, some uh, something uh, is not working like this one uh, this is originally uh, a guide for iceborne update but I was able to apply it to the uh, monster hunter world base game So here you go, um, if you like the video please like or subscribe and comment if you have any questions. So thank you guys for watching, I will see you again next time.